iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to ITG Geek. I'm your host Rashad. I'm here to show you how to configure GPO on 2003 server. Uh, I'm a man of my word, so I'll go ahead and show y'all how to do a couple of things that I told you on previous tutorials. And my print server tutorial, I told you I was going to show you how to deploy printers through GPO so you don't have to do it manually on every computer and also and also on file services tutorial I told you that I'll show you how to map a network share so um, right now I want to go to start printers sees nothing's there and I want to also want to show you on the computer it's nothing there so now I'm about to go on my server side and show you how to write some scripts to get these things working. And I'll show you a couple other things. All right, we're on the server. Uh, here go the two scripts I was telling you about. Uh, if you look on the helpful tools, I have both of the scripts. So you can go ahead and just copy them and, and, and follow along. First, I want to show you is the map drive. All right, when you copy this, we got to change a couple things. Uh, this letter right here is the letter of the job you want to assign it. I pick K. Um, right here is the name of your server, or you can put this IP address, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and put the name of my server. And then next to it is the share folder, whatever you called it. And I call mine share. So we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and file, save as. All right, let's go ahead and put dot VBS. Let's go ahead and close that. Now we're going to do the for the one for the print. All right, in here. Let's go ahead and change this to the server. Same thing we did with the, with the map drive. So let's go ahead and delete that. Put the name of our server or IP address to the server. And then, not the name of your printer, but the shared name you named it. And I remember I named mine's blue. So, go ahead and do the same thing with this one. So, go file, save as. Okay, VBS. Press enter. All right. So, we save that one. You notice both of these turns, these little script little things here. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to Active Directory. All right, I'm going to use this OU. I have a user in here, the IT team. I have Axe Brian in there. So you're going to go ahead and right click, go to Properties. We're going to go to Group Policy. All right, let's make a new script. I'm gonna call this map drive. Try to name it as something that you can be able to remember what it is later. Because if you have a lot of scripts, you know, eventually you're gonna be like, what the script is? So try to put details of what the script is. Do another one. I'm just gonna do print. I'm gonna call it blue. And one more. I'm going to name this one no. You don't have to make 3Ds. You can actually do them all in one policy. But for, for testing purposes on my tutorial, I'm going to do them all in different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. All right. So you want to go ahead and click this option. Um, I want to make it on a user because anywhere the user logs in, these settings will apply. Also, um, you could do it to the computer if you want to just set it for a certain computer. But for right now, I want to do it for the user. So anywhere he logs on, on the network, it will apply. We're going to go to Windows Settings, Scripts. We're going to go ahead and click on Log On. 
All right, let's add a script. We're going to browse. I like to just go ahead and grab it in here and drag it in there. Um, you don't have to. You can you can pick it wherever it is, but I like to just do it like that. All right, press OK. We're going to go ahead and apply. All right, let's go ahead and close this one. Now let's go to print blue. We'll do the same thing. Windows. We're gonna do another logon script. We're gonna add. Now we're gonna go to browse. Throw the print in there too. Gonna open. Close that. All right, this one we're gonna do a little different. So let's go ahead and click, double click on it. We're gonna go to administrative templates, and uh, we, we let's go do something simple like in the startup menu. All right, when you come in here, all these folder, all these things do different things. It's so many different options you can do. You can go ahead and play around with it and see which ones you want to turn on and turn off. Um, for testing purposes, I'm gonna do something real simple. So I'm, so let's go ahead and we want to remove the documents icon from the startup menu. And like I said, you can pick whatever which ones you want. You don't have to pick the exact ones I did so we can test it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick one more. Let's go ahead and click on remove the all programs list from the start menu. All right, let's go ahead and close it. All right, now let's go to our client machine and see if it works. So let's go ahead to our client machine. All right, we back on our client machine. Notice that the printer is still not there. And notice that the map drive is still still not there. And also notice that documents are still there and all programs are still there. So what we got to do is log off since it's a log on script. All right, now go ahead and log back in. All right, put the username that's in that OU in. All right, let's go to the startup menu. And notice all programs are gone and notice my documents are gone. We go to printers and, and faxes. Notice that big blue is there. That's the print script we ran. And for the last test, go to my computer. And there goes the map drive right there. If you have any more questions on GPO, I have more tutorials in depth. These are some basic things you can do. Um, you can go ahead and play around with it and, and add any kind of settings or permissions you want to do. That's my tutorial on GPO. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.